I don't know if I'm doing too much of this shit by myself and not letting you figure shit out. Uh, at the same time, it's probably also helpful that you're seeing how to do a lot of this because I'm no pro. I've beaten the game multiple times, yeah. but like the the skill ceiling in this game is fucking infinite. Yeah, I mean, uh, we would be here a hell of a lot longer if I had to like figure out if i gave you the reins on everything yeah yeah it, it took me a long time to learn a lot of this too um like guess i'll need to you should have splitter. you should have seen the stream where i just played the tutorial and had no help yeah like, i actually streamed my first time ever playing it as well like the people in my chat were like i can't tell if he's trolling us or if he literally doesn't know what to do here. jesus my my uh, chat wasn't nearly that harsh when i was uh when i was doing it there they're like oh you're doing fine uh all right let me just gotta get a whole bunch of that uh there's an attack going on i think we're good yeah we're good it turned red by now if something got hit again they're being shockingly non-aggressive <laughs> I can't believe we're not dipping in electricity right now. We're cutting it yeah. close. Oh, satisfaction is turning a little yellow. Alright, we only yes. need one underground. Yeah. Okay, so what's the progress on robots? We're about to be making batteries for them. Yeah, and batteries are a requirement. I think it's the last requirement that we don't have. Ooh. Now, we will want to automate them at some point, obviously. Okay, we now have bot batteries automated. I almost said batteries oh. animated. <laughs> I don't even know what you'd call that accent. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, modular armor, research, done. This is our first kind of power armor. It's very cool. We can start modding our own armor, which is why I'm researching night vision. Which is real quick research. All right. Are uh, you setting up uh, one of these? Yeah, go for it. Um, okay. Chest for the advanced circuits. Let me just. I uh, can't drop that on the ground. Life isn't fair. Oh Jesus! No, don't You're do that. Oh. Blueprints on the ground. I somehow. did it. Empty blueprints. Fuck them. <laughs> what? I think there's a way to delete them, but I don't want them. And I don't know how to delete them because I'm not, I'm not the best. <laughs> okay. Um, if you look under combat, I'm making two modular armors, one for each of us. Ooh, Night vision is, is finished. I want modular armor, battery equipment. Mm. There we go. So we can start storing electricity in our modular armor to fuel our night vision. We're about to make it so we have night vision and can see at night without oh, good. going blind, because it sucks. We could have been making lamps this whole time, but mm -hmm. that sucks dotting the place in lamps. I think I put one lamp up somewhere in the last... Uh, I think... Second. I think we kept making jokes about our one lamp. <laughs> I don't remember where I put it either. It was lighting something up. All right. Uh, whenever you meet up with me next, I'll give you your modular armor. Battery equipment done. Nice. I want to find our one lamp. I just, oh, here it is. Yeah. It's near our stone brick production. Nice. So uh, we can see our totally saturated stone brick conveyor belt. Where all right. nothing happens. Uh, gotta make some batteries now for armor. I got that going. I got a night vision. Let me get another night vision. Oh, here's here's your armor. It's on the ground right here. Oh, it's so small. Yeah, you oh. can throw away your old armor. And then I need to make another night vision. So I'll just grab that. There we go. Um, and then I'll need to make us a few portable solar panels each once we have that research done, which will require regular solar panels for some reason. Portable solar panels. Do those go into our armor? Yeah, it's what's going to charge our our batteries for our armor. Oh. Uh, so that's going to need a bunch of freak electronic circuits. That's not a problem. We're producing plenty. Oops. There we go. Now, 
by hand, you make solar panels pretty slowly. We're going to want to automate that at some point because we're going to want a lot of solar panels and we're going to have like a robot assembly line for that where they're being made and placed by the robots on their own. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Portable solar panel research done. Sweet. Um, oh, it's almost nighttime. We're starting to run a little bit low on um, research that doesn't require blue science packs. We've been dragging our feet on it a bit, trying to do oh, other little uh, efficiency things, you know? Yeah. Well, we've already automated the advanced circuits, so... Yeah, that's just, not so bad. Uh, we would just need to automate engine units. Here's a night vision on the ground there and a battery down here. You can right click on your armor in the bottom right to get an inventory of it and you can put those in there. Now, the night vision's not gonna work yet because uh, we don't have anything to charge our battery. Once we get solar panels, that'll be taken care of. Night vision takes almost no electricity. This is pretty cool. I like how it gives you like a little grid. Yeah. So you have to kind of fit things, I guess. Does that mean it's not possible to fit, like, every possible armor mod? Yeah, armor? we can't just go unlimited on it. As we get better armors, though, uh, we'll be able to um, fit more things in. Mm. So okay. we can start having multiple exoskeletons, so we can run really, really fast. Or, like, personal shields and stuff. Oh, good. The the shield's like an electric shield that where it charges with your battery and tries to protect you. Mm -hmm. All right, let me, uh, I'm just trying to make us some, some solar panels here, like, uh, portable solar panels, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which requires regular solar panels. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I don't know why a, a gigantic solar panel bigger than us. I need five of those to make a tiny one. Mm hmm. Uh, you have to compress them. I guess. Just <laughs> press your hands against them really hard. Okay, mm -hmm. I got one solar panel in my gear. Uh, we're probably going to want like four each at some point, but one for now, we'll see how that does. Like, I can already see better right now. Uh, and this other one is going to be finished in a second. I'm just making the, the portable one for you. It's not daytime right now, is it? No, because I got my flashlight on. Okay, mm -hmm. it's just yeah, sun starting to rise. Yeah, it's about to be. All right, there's your portable solar panel. Put that in your armor. Delicious. You should immediately notice a pretty substantial difference. Oh, let's see. Oh, and let's sun's starting to come up. Our flashlights went off, so night vision will turn off, and our thing will just charge now. Now, hmm. of course, the the higher up the sun is, like closer to noon, basically the mm -hmm. uh the more you'll charge so right now it's starting to pick up the pace that battery is going to look pretty empty in the bottom right by the way for a long time just because it's not charging much but it's also not using much oh i gotcha okay so we have battery production uh we have i do we have everything for flying robots now no we need electric engines Ah. Uh. now that's engines uh Iron plates, copper plates, and lubricant. Lubricant we make out of heavy oil with a, um, what do you call it? Uh, chemical plant. Uh, so uh, we have lots of heavy oil, I'm sure. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, you see how those two things are starting to fill up? Yeah, if we're, those... not doing, we're not doing anything with this heavy oil yet, right? Yeah, it's just, or light it's just oil. Piling up. So yeah. the problem here is... Um, if these fill, it stops production of every oil because it doesn't have room for the others. So the petroleum oh. would get cut off and we're using that for a lot of things right now. Oh geez, so we would have to like either find a use for our other oils or like build more storage tanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine the storage tank creep gets uh, really out of control eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, you know what? Top priority. We really desperately need science pack level three. Engines, advanced circuits, mining drills. Okay, we have advanced circuits done. Um, we need electric mining drills. Okay. Uh, gears, iron plates, 
electronic circuits. Is there any place that we already have where all of those things are next to each other? Mm, right here. Um, pretty close down here where we're making science. Perfect. Right here. All three things are right here. Right, because it's the same ingredients as inserters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, God, I don't want to chop a forest. I really <laughs> don't want to chop a fucking forest. How mm. soon can we get a robot to do it? Uh, okay, let's just chop a little bit. Just a little bit. We're doing that. That's it. Make Ooh. sure you have a steel axe. God. Oh, it's so difficult. Oh, my arms. Ugh. Oh, I gotta hold right click. Walk uh. around a little. We can't see shit in here. Ugh. Okay, oh. and there's just a little more just for visibility. Okay, we're good. This is plenty. Okay, uh, I want to automate assembling machines at some point as well. Uh, right, I actually need a level 2 assembling machine. What am I lacking? Gears? Yoink. <laughs> okay. Right here. And some medium poles. There we go. And a regular. And I want drills. Now where are we going to put the drills? Uh, up here. Uh, <laughs> oh, my arms. Uh, life is misery. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, oh. Ugh. There we go, and right there. Burying my hands. And yeah, what's this non-automated bullshit that we're doing? <laughs> I want a refund. I don't want to be dirtying my hands with all this. I want to be dirtying the environment. Yeah, fuck the, the environment. The atmosphere. Okay, uh, we got that going. Okay, we have oh. drills automated, uh, and it's very easy to expand in the future if we need more. <laughs> I think night so, this one's just pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yeah, we're it's nighttime right now. You can just hardly tell because the dark areas are so much brighter with the night vision. Ah, it's so luxurious. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. uh, it'll help keep us productive. Okay. Um, Sorry, I just looked down the hall to outside, and it is the brightest day in the world, and it is 6.30 p.m. One month ago, it would have been pitch black by now. It's weirding mm -hmm. me out. Uh, okay. So we have that, we have that. We need... All we need now are automated engine units, and we can automate the production of Science Pack Level 3. That's not bad. Um, right. Steel plate. We have tons. We're not even using it for anything. Iron gear easy mm -hmm. pipe pipe is just made of iron plate this won't be too hard mm. now we will want, want to make a lot of engines because we're also going to use them for um for electronic well, engines which we'll need yeah. for flying robots yeah. and other and things our, like tanks our steel is just doing nothing right now yeah we have we have no use for it right now we've just occasionally used a little that we picked up for like armor and stuff. Yeah. Do we use that so in much. piercing rounds? Yeah, we do use that in piercing rounds. So much wasted potential in that steel. Okay. Um, just thinking, just thinking. I wish the iron gears weren't on the other side of this, but um, <laughs> hmm. This iron gear production, we might need to speed this up because we're going to be using a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Um, It is pretty fast here. Maybe if we just... But the thing slowing it down now is it's not getting enough iron. What's slowing down the iron intake? Is it ore? Mm. It's ore. It's not getting enough ore. Yeah, we've kind of got our drills all over the place over here. We do have automated drills now. 
Like, uh, okay. Well, some of these ran out of resources. I'll pick those up and repurpose them. Oh, uh, sure. This looks like prime real estate right here. Yeah, yeah, we can get a little bit in here. Uh, right there we can get. There we go. And there's just a tiny little bit in there that we couldn't already reach. No, ah, fuck, I can't even fit one in there. In yeah. this area, I can't fit one. We're going to have to, if we want that last little bit of ore, we'd need to make a landfill, which is not hard. Mm -hmm. You can fill up water with, with earth by using, like, stone and stuff with a little research. It's a mm -hmm. really quick research we could do. Uh, not a high priority, though. I'm going to look at our more recent iron. Yeah, go activity. give that a look. See if there's, like, an easy upgrade for it. Hmm... Uh, Pollution no. is just about to reach a bigger enemy base. Hmm. Well, let me see here. How do I tell if a drill has run out of resources to pick up? Because I think that might be the case. If you hover over a drill and it hmm. doesn't say expected resources at the bottom of oh, its yeah. little chart on the right, then it's empty yeah. under it. And you may as well just pick it up. Okay, well, three of these have gone bad. Okay. Yeah, just get rid of those ones. I'm guessing it's the ones on the far right edge. Oh, well, far left. Okay, you know, the edge ones had less under them in the first place. Yeah. So we're getting less iron ore over here than we were. Has our radar picked up any more iron? Um, it's got some to the far north. So you've got 28,000 ore where you are underground. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, uh -oh. God. Our oil. Our oil. We don't have a turret up there. We don't? No. Oh, I'm making two turrets something. as I run up there. They just destroyed something. Oh, God. You know what we need to start doing? Roads. I just remember that's the thing we need. Oh, uh, there's too many trees. I can't get there in time. We need a robot to destroy these trees. Ah! Oh, motherfucker. I was about three seconds away from saving one of the oil pumps. We still have uh, one oil pump going. It's fine. We have plenty. It's just a pain. So you see how there's yeah. a purple outline of where they used to be. That didn't yeah. used to be there. That's because now that we have logistics robots and construction robots capability, it'll leave an after image for like an hour of the game so uh -huh. that robots could go rebuild it right away if they had the resources Ooh. and the range. Gotcha. It's useful for us, though, because it reminds us what was there. Yeah. Uh, I don't have another pump jack on me. I don't suppose you could make one on the fly. Um, what are they under? Production. Yeah, uh, we can get another one there later. It's not a big deal. These, uh, the oil tanks are still pretty full right now. So we could be laying down, you know that stone brick we're making? We could lay that down on the ground and walk faster on it. But we could also make concrete, which is the fastest. That's water, stone brick, and iron ore. Hmm. Oh, did you put gun turrets down? I forgot to place them. Oh. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do all of these have? Yeah, okay. Um, Maybe I should go keep an eye on our oil. Yeah. Maybe. I will be back up there with some resources in a minute. Oof. Okay. Uh, pump jack. There we go. And I'm on my way. I also have lots of ammo on me. They also did some damage to a nearby tree for some reason. What assholes. <laughs> Don't they have robots to do that? You'd think. Alright, I'm on my way. Hong Kong, motherfucker! Oh my god. I remembered cars are a thing! <laughs> it's like a clown cart smaller than us. Yeah. Alright, uh, hit Does enter to get in it. Are you allowed in? Yay! Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Can Yay. I shoot things while we drive? You can hold space and use the turret on it, but it doesn't have any ammo in it. It's also got uh, a trunk so you can carry goods with it. Yeah, I saw there was coal in the trunk. There we go. Yeah, I loaded up with coal and also gave it some spare. Oh yeah, it's the color of whoever went in it last. That's cool. Really? Yeah, if you want, you can go around and scout the place, add to our map a little bit maybe. Like, oh, maybe yeah. drive out west a little bit. Now, be careful about running into things, because it does do damage to our buildings. Oh, no. Yeah. Does it do damage to the car? A little bit. You can always just make some repair tools, though, to fix it. I'm worried about running into trees. Oh, you n You can. You can just ram through trees to get rid of them. Really? Yeah. It, it barely hurts Oof. your car. Just hold forwards, and you can just, like, force your way through. It's fun. Uh, hold on, hold on. You don't even need to get ramming speed at it. Just hit it and then keep holding W. And you can kind of force <laughs> yourself up against <laughs> it. It, so it works stupid. better if you're using a tank. We don't have a tank yet. I imagine, yeah. All right, uh, we should this automate very slow. engine production. That's, that's a high priority. I forgot to put my turrets up there when I was up there. God damn it. <laughs> that, that would be a good idea. All right, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Just carve a lane through this forest. I know you're you're uh, severely worried that I clearly have dementia, but I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right, we just... Yeah! Oh, I ran out fast. Well, <laughs> sorry, I was making a road. It's really good. It's pretty complete. Uh, now, what's this white bar that showed up when I'm driving the car? Is that fuel? White bar. I don't remember a white my, bar. It's above my hot bar here. Above your hot bar, a white bar. Might be fuel. Might be the health of your vehicle? Not sure. Yeah. I don't know if it's fuel or vehicle health, because it's nearly full, whichever it is. All right. Our, uh, our oil field has a turret on it now with tons of ammo. Uh, very good. What's this I've discovered? Copper, okay. Wow, you're really adding to the map fast. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's aliens in that copper. Oh, really? Yeah, zoom in on it hardcore on your map. I thought it was a funny color. Yeah, yeah it's red. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, those are alien bases. So yes. I can actually see around what you can see, by the way. If I hit M and go on my map, I can zoom in fully and, like, watch you. Oh. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, I can see those two bases just north of you. Mm-hmm. And I could tell that you were saying, oh, because you rammed into a rock. Oh, some no, biters are running at you. That never happened. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the car won't start. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you're good. They're it's just weak little biters. It's a horror movie. You might want to put some of your ammo into your guns, like your, the turret on the vehicle. Because oh, it's got I a submachine that? gun attached to it. Can I use that while I'm driving? Yeah, you just hold space. Oh. Let me see. A here. lot of uranium by you. 50, uh, oh my god, it's 500,000 uranium ore right there. Oh yeah, wow. That's more than we have of anything. Holy shit. Oh, something is red. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, I think the bar is the car's health. Now, how do I fill up the ammo on this thing? Uh, it's your ammo thing in the bottom right. Okay. There's also extra fuel in the trunk if you end up needing it. Got it. Okay, um... Right, engines, engines, engines. So I, I want to make a whole bunch of assembling machines because I'm going to need them for everything under the sun anyway. Iron, there we go. Okay. There are so many trees in the world. I hate it. So I'm going to want to make pipes here. Hmm. Is okay. it possible to change the color of your player? I like a, don't yeah, know. Right. Our, our turret's taking care of that attack. Okay, uh, so that's going over there. Up like that. And then I could have the pipe on the same thing. Perfect. Mm. 
All right, production's going well back home. I've, uh, I think I've figured out how I want to do this. Hmm. Exploration is going pretty well. It would be going better if there were not as many trees. Yeah. Tiny, tiny little groupings of iron ore. Like a hundred. No, that's 600 iron ore. Woo, that'll supply us for 10 minutes. <laughs> Mining productivity, nice. Running a little low on research to do, honestly. Um, stack inserters, those are good. We'll start needing those soon. Hypothetically, how hard would it be to replace a car if one broke for any reason? Pretty easy. Oh. Did you break a car? No. Not yet. Uh, okay. I did check, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, those cliffs out there. Those are new. Can I that's, drive? That's why none of them are near our base, because uh, they're so new to the game. Cliffs. Oh. Uh. I can't drive off of the cliffs. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, do you have the stuff to make a repair pack on you? You might want to make a repair pack and just get out of the car and repair it. W well, why would I need one of those? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, just in case. What, 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 what would make you say such a thing? I don't know. You know, accidents happen. I'm a very careful driver. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to have uh, come across like I don't trust you. <laughs> All right, uh, pipes, there we go. Get some electricity. There we go. Okay, and the engine just needed steel plate after that? Yeah, steel plate. Sweet. We've got engine production just about ready to go. It's hard for me to pick out where trees are on the minimap. Yeah, the minimap is not very good with like telling you where trees are. Are you ramming that uh, biter spawner? Uh, uh, this is an experiment. I needed to know if it's possible. Yep, uh, your car's almost busted though. Yeah, you wanna go repair that thing. Let me see here. Can I make one of those? Should be under have iron plates. You don't have what? Iron plates. You know, you got stone around you. Why don't you make a little furnace out there? Mine a little bit <laughs> of iron off the ground, smelt it on the spot with some trees, and <laughs> you could just do that. Or I you could can. drive home. I mean, you're not very far. The car's pretty fast. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting around all the cliffs and rocks and annoying trees. Oof. Uh, what, what is the recipe for an engine again? How much does it need of each thing? Okay, I guess it probably should have the iron gears on that side. Okay. I was just checking to see, like, what side I could get away with a fast inserter, which one I could get away with a long arm. Hmm. Uh, do I want it to be that high up, though? Probably not. Hmm. Car is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I do see a constant red damage indicator at the bottom, and it's, it's not anything up here. It's probably not a big deal. Okay. It's not at a sliver of health. Did I just build this at the exact same length I did last time? I'm an idiot. It's at a very healthy level. Well, that's good to hear. In a very good state of repair. I choose to believe you. You wouldn't lie to me. Engine unit. There we go. 
Let's get Just this thing for some electricity. future reference, where are the nearest iron plates to me? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, right, I'm right where curious. you are, I think. Isn't it uh, just up a little? Maybe. I'm just wondering, you know, just yeah. curious. No reason in particular. Yeah. It's just good to know where everything is. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my bearings. Yeah. Also, just for future reference, totally not related to anything, how do I use the repair pack? Uh, you would be outside of just next to whatever you want to repair, and you just have it on your mouse, and you hold either right-click or left-click on the object. I don't remember which. Hmm, let me see. Yeah. Now, I know you don't need to do okay. it, but just, you know, damage something so you can test it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just asking for future reference. For a friend. So. <laughs> So if yeah. you're asking, so you can tell me. <laughs> yeah, my my friend wants to know. Yeah. How things are repaired. All right, there we go. We now have engines automated. So we have engines, we have drills, and we have. Uh, what is it? We have engines, we have drills, and we have advanced circuits all automated, right at the two-hour mark. Let me see. Yeah. Let me look at all of this. Okay, advanced circuits. Okay, okay. Yeah. There they are. I see. Hmm, so Where did we do the drills again? Battery. Did we do it bottom right? Uh, they're down. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's just over science. here. Okay, you know what? This stuff is all in, like different directions, but they're in or the relatively same area. Mm -hmm. Because I would want to make the blue science packs like up here. Mm -hmm. In this clearing, so I can easily get to the other side of the science labs. You know, so it's somewhere like uh, going going down this road. You know, mm. so we we'd be building them like I don't know up up here. Mm -hmm. Were you able yeah. to expand our iron production in any way? No. Um... Our, I think our big thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go even farther north. You see that one just top right of our oil? Yeah. I'm worried that we might have to go there. Actually, no, there's a better spot down south. You know our first oil expansion we did? Dead south of it. 1.5 million iron ore right there. Where was that? Uh, Dead south of our expanded iron place to the west. Oh, oh see I that? thought that was water for a second. Yeah, that's 1.5 million iron ore. We could run oh, off that iron. for a long time. There's not even a lot of, like, bugs super close to that or anything. Well, I think that can be our uh, our first task of the next recording session, then. Let's, uh, let's oh. save it. We're, like, two hours in. The truth will set you free. Saved. <laughs> And on the next play session, we uh, we we make the the big new iron mine because my god, we need it. We'll probably even break it down into multiple, um, multiple like tracks worth of iron, uh, because it'll be too saturated for just one track, which is fine. And we uh, we're gonna use a lot of electricity on it. Hopefully, we're gonna get our solar pa power really going, and we're mm. gonna have science pack level two and flying robots on the next episode. Until next time, have a nice day. And also I'm going to drive a car off a cliff. <laughs>